Okay, here's the reason if you're an atheist you can't use the term uh, objective in relation to morality. Uh, it's because, it's a very, very simple reason, it's because the word objective uh, is imbued with authority. Now, the reason um, that um, a lot of atheists have rejected um, various religious groups' um, interpretations of morality is because they see them as being purely subjective. Um, it's not divine revelation, it's not God's morality, it's their morality. Um, and they're using the term objective um, as God. God is the objective morality. Um, so if you reject that um, as a notion, as you, if you reject that as a notion, then you can't very well go away and then do exact, the exact same thing yourself. You can't uh, replace God with yourself. That's the problem. It's imbued with the, with the term authority. And how do we know it's in, uh, imbued with the term authority? Well, um, it's not that any, anyone rejects uh, the notion of objectivity, because we do it all the time, as some people have said before. Um, um, but it's to do with authority, because we use it in uh, in courts. You know, um, the jury is, is is set up as an objective body, or if it's a non-jury trial, um, the judge is an objective arbiter of what's going on. Um, we do it um, for examinations. Uh, you know, whenever you do, you take your exams, um, we rely on the objective, um, uh, uh, the objective qualities of the examiner. Um, uh, there are arbitration bodies that um, that uh, take an objective view in whenever there there are sort of labour disputes between a company and, and its workforce. You know, so I mean, we do this all the time. Uh, but you can't use it with morality because morality is um, completely intertwined with who you are and um, what you believe and um, how you live your life. You cannot extract yourself from it. Anyone who thinks that um, they can uh, completely disregard everything that they've ever heard, everything that they've ever been told, um, everything that they've learnt during their whole life, and a form an opinion completely uh, new out of the air. Um, it's, it's just deluding themselves. Uh, you can approach it. You can make an approximation of it, but you can never be that way. You're always going to be subject to what you've learned, to what you've heard, what you've seen, what you've read. Um, and how do we know this? Because when we examine people who have never, ever been with anyone else, uh, feral children are there. They're, they don't have any set sense of morals. Because they don't have any language for a start. So I mean, uh, this is the reason why, um, if, if you're an atheist, um, why you will always get pulled. Someone's always going to challenge you if you use the term objective morality, because you're putting yourself in the place of God, effectively, um, and they, they re uh, reject the notion of God. So um, you can't make yourself God. So that's it, plain and simple. So you can talk about an ethical morality. You can argue for an ethical morality. Um, but you can't use the term objective because of the uh, because of the um, uh, the authority that's attached with that word, and that's why. Uh, so maybe she knock all the organ on the head now about that and get on with uh, talking about um, an ethical morality that people can sign up to and argue the case for it. That would be good.